Welcome to the MindView 7 Quick Start video on project management. This video assumes that you have a basic working knowledge of MindView. In this video, you will learn how to turn your brainstorm session into a project plan, how to create the work breakdown structure, how to apply task information and create a schedule in the Gantt view, how to view the plan as a timeline, how to create project reports, and export your project plan to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Project, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Excel. We begin with a basic mind map that contains four main branches and several sub-branches. In this example, I have the numbering scheme applied to illustrate the branch hierarchy. For project managers, this is extremely helpful when viewing this as a work breakdown structure and a Gantt chart. We begin by converting our basic brainstorm session into the work breakdown structure or WBS. And I do that under the view tab, map view, top down. I have now created my main level tasks and my subtasks created in a typical WBS format. My next step is to associate task and resource information to the various branches. I begin by opening the task timeline panel from the right side of my screen. I start by selecting the document type, which by default is set to project management. This is the document type necessary in order to work in the Gantt chart view. It's also important to mention that this sets the calendar for the project at a five day work week, 40 hours per week. When I scroll down to the bottom of my tab, I see project information. Here is where I would enter the start date of the project. It's important to associate either a start date or an end date for the project, and for this example, we'll choose June 1st. I can also choose to associate or add project resources if I know who's going to be working on the project. For this example, I'm going to choose Bob. Sally, Steve, and Jane. I can also choose to enter their email addresses and rates if I choose to. For this example, I went ahead and added the email addresses for the various resources. I can also choose to locate these resources from my address book, from an active directory, from the shared workspace if you're a Matchware shared workspace account holder and I can also import them in an XML format. I also have the ability to affect my project calendars. The project calendars allow me to dictate the hours per day, hours per week, and days per month and I can associate an individual project calendar which allows me to associate times per working day or I can also apply individual resource calendars if an individual resource happens to work on a non-traditional working schedule. Applying task information to the various tasks is very simple. I simply left click the branch, I go to my time and task information, and I choose the duration of the task and the metric I'd like to measure in. I pick a start date, and the duration will then forecast the end date of that task. If I decide to start by choosing an end date, I can manipulate the start date by changing the duration as well. I can choose to affect the priority if there's been any completion that's taken place on the task, and associate a resource from my resource dropdown. All of this task information can then be displayed per branch by simply right-clicking the branch, choosing Show and Hide, and choose to show or hide specific branch information. In this case, I might want to show the start and end time. I might want to show the completion level. And I may want to show the resource. and I can continue to apply task information in that manner. In this case, Bob's going to start this task on the 15th. 
It's going to take him two days to complete, and I need to assign him that task. For this example, I've went ahead and added all the task information per branch. If I'd like to display this task information on all branches, from the View tab, I can choose Show Hide and determine the various data points that I'd like displayed per branch. As you can see, the individual sub-branch information has been created, the parent branches display the sub-branch information, and the root is summarizing the entire map. If I choose to start affecting the individual completion levels, which can be done directly on the branch, I can choose to show and display the roll-up feature, which makes MindView an extremely effective work breakdown structure tool and project management presentation tool. I also have the ability to work directly in the Gantt chart view. The Gantt chart view allows me to utilize standard project management features that are similar to tools like Microsoft Project. I have my individual task name, duration, start date, end date, and the corresponding columns listed. I can choose to show or hide my columns as needed. I can create custom columns and I can also easily arrange the column order by left clicking and dragging the columns to new locations. For this example, I'd also like to demonstrate the ability to expand or collapse the individual Gantt bars. I can rearrange my task information in the outline view. I have the ability to switch between manual and auto scheduled task modes. I can show the critical path, and I can also easily start creating dependencies by left-clicking, dragging, and dropping the dependency lines and start linking these tasks together to create an effective project schedule. If I expand the listing and I look at the predecessors, I see that information begins to populate. I can also manually type the predecessor information in and I have the ability to also select an individual task, choose task information, and apply various task data points directly in the task information dialog. Here I can change the name and duration, if it's an estimate or accurate date, start and end dates, completions, priorities. I can make the task active or inactive, switch between my task modes, apply constraint types, apply task types for fixed units, fixed duration, and fixed work, and I can even associate effort-driven scheduling. Under the predecessors tab, here I can determine the specific type of predecessor or dependency with the four main types being listed, finish to finish, finish to start, start to finish, and start to start. Finish to start is the default predecessor type created when I choose to left click and drag a line. Although the Gantt chart is an extremely effective project management tool, it can sometimes be difficult to display or communicate this information to my team. I can choose to display this in the timeline view, collapse the timeline outline, and then show the timeline in a larger scale. The timeline view is extremely effective in presenting information and I still have full functionality of MindView as I would in any of the standard views. MindView gives me several options to export this file out to different file types. Under the File tab, I can choose to export this out to several different programs such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Microsoft Outlook, and Microsoft Project. We also have the ability to create project reports directly from MindView. Let's begin by exporting to Microsoft Word. I have the ability to choose specific data points to be exported under the custom Word export. I choose my template. Under General, I determine if I'd like the 
image of the map exported and I can also choose to include the dates, priority levels, completion levels, and resources. I'll simply hit export and save my file. If I then view my Microsoft Word export, I see my title, my individual main branches and sub branches, which are my parent tasks and subtasks. And if I go to those specific sections, I see the individual groupings under the parent, the subtask information, as well as all corresponding task points. I can also choose to export this file to Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, I can choose the custom export, my style, what elements I'd like included, and hit export. Here I see my PowerPoint presentation created, the main branches and sub-branches, as well as the numbering scheme that I utilized in MindView. I can choose to export to Microsoft Excel, again choosing the custom Excel export, choose my template, my branch layout, the task information that I'd like to include, and hit export. Here you see my Microsoft Excel export with my main branches and sub-branches, corresponding task information, and I can scroll down in the document and see all of that varying data that I included within my MindView file. I can also choose to export this file to Microsoft Project. MindView has exported all varying task data points directly to Microsoft Project, including resources, start dates, end dates, dependencies, and so on. It's important to mention that all of these exports are also imports. If I choose to change any data in Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, even Microsoft Project, I can import that information back into MindView. If you recall in the beginning of the presentation, I added email addresses to the varying resources. The reason that I did that is that if I choose, I can select File, Export, Microsoft Outlook, and I can actually choose to export these various tasks directly to that resources Outlook task list. I can send that task out from MindView. That resource does not need MindView to update the task information. They can update it right in Microsoft Outlook, and then I can choose to synchronize the file back into MindView and update the corresponding completion levels. The final export I'd like to demonstrate are our unique project reports. The project reports give a dashboard view of all of the specific project information that we've created in MindView. The project reports launch as an HTML file, a self-contained file that can easily be attached to an email and distributed to my team. The executive reports gives me a summary of the project details, start and end dates, the resources, our project calendar, and a high-level overview of task status, summary tasks, and overdue tasks. I can then navigate between the overview reports to see any summary tasks, critical tasks, or milestones. I can view my unique task list, which breaks down each individual task with their unique identification number and the corresponding task information and even a dependency link. I can filter by task status, unstarted, in progress, completed, and overdue. I can look at my individual resource allocation report, which lets me know what Bob is working on, Jane is working on, Sally is working on. I can even associate my workload, over allocation, and accountability. Each of these individual dashboard reports are a great way for you to further communicate project status and project information to your team.